Hey there guys, today we are going to talk about making your very own artist website on Weebly.com. Um, many of you already know how to do this and there will be a little reminder about uploading work um, and just a refresher in general. Um, but the, So the first thing you want to do is go to Weebly. And the reason that we make artist websites is so that we can show off our own work and this can lead to future jobs, this can lead to um, art galleries seeing your work and an easy place for you to send or show your work off at. You can just say, hey, go to my art website, and they'll be like, cool, got it. They'll go, they'll be like, oh my god, you're so amazing. So it's pretty awesome. Um, this is my own personal website. <clears throat> And there are a few different components that you will also have on your website. The first will be a landing page. Um, my page has three different projects that I got going on. Um, so you can have that. You can have one picture or you can have your about me on your landing page. <clears throat> this is a bio um, written about yourself and you can either write it in third person or in first person. Mine is in third person. The next thing you'll have is a resume, which we will get to later, but make sure you make a page for it. Um, this is really important because you want people to know that you have job experience. Um, you won't have this page or this page. Maybe we'll put um, some of your Square Roots teaching work up there, but I think that's what we can describe, decide as individuals or a group. And then lastly, you'll have a page with photography, graphic design, um, and then a podcast page or a poetry page or some additional page for your other work. Um, so there is a huge difference uh, when we get to Weebly. You'll be clicking on Get Started or Sign Up, and you'll have to go through those procedures of signing up with your personal email. Also, please make sure that you write your password down somewhere or send it in an email to yourself um, because you don't want to go through what I'm going through right now and trying to figure out what it is and we will be using these um, throughout your time here. As you can see, there's a few sites that I've created as uh, demos, but we are gonna start from the very beginning for you. So the first thing is if your page takes you to that kind of page, you're gonna do add page. It most likely will take you right here since you don't have a website created at all. So the theme is the basic look of your website and you can choose whichever theme you want to choose but you should take into consideration that we are creating a portfolio so these pages will be the most in tune with what you need to display on your work um, a personal will also work um, but I would avoid business and probably events too you could probably do some work with events, but uh, I'd avoid business. So I'm going to go, I really like this very standard one, but let's do this one. So I'm going to choose it. It's going to create a website for me with that theme, and then I'm going to have to build in my specific settings. Um, so the first thing is it's asking you if you want to do a subdomain. This is the option that you want to choose. If you register a new domain, you'll need to pay for it. And if you can connect a domain you already own, that means you're currently paying for one, which I don't think you are. This is where you're going to write your name. Obviously, that was taken. So this is up. Oh, really? Oh, I can't do that. Okay. So you're going to do some variation of your name.weebly.com. Um, and then, as you can see, this has a few of the already existing pages. Um, but this is kind of the, lay the layout of Weebly. The elements are things that you can 
click and drag into the spot. So if I wanted a text box, I can drag this text box here. And instead of having just that photo, I also have a text box. Um, same for image. Gallery is a group of images. Um, slideshow is a slideshow of images. And then some of these ones like newsletter form and map and contact form we can probably avoid. Um, you will want to utilize the media setting. These are still elements, so you just click and drag. Um, but there you can upload video work that we might have done over the summer off of YouTube. You can upload files, which we will probably need to do for your resume. Um, and then at the end, some things we probably don't need. Maybe you want to quote something, though. Um, and whatnot. So this structure is new. I will show you how to use it, but it is pretty new and it's probably going to be good for us in the end. So that's on the build page and these are elements that you will literally drag and drop into your website to build your website out. The next page is your pages. This is where you can add um, standard pages called poetry or photography and then um, you will drag your own elements there. We will be doing, oops, we will be doing that. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So this might have a different, oh cool, it's the same one. So the pages page is pretty cool. Um, you can also drag things around, change where they're at, etc. The theme goes to changing specifically the theme that you have chosen, so I'm not going to do that, but also changing the fonts, um, which is really nice. The store we can avoid um, because we are not selling anything. <sighs> And then the settings has your general settings, so you can retitle something so that it's your name. Um, you can have passwords. These are the very basic setting tools. So we're going to go back to build, and we are going to quickly build a website. So at the top where it says my site, you're going to want to put in my name or a your name. So for example, Maddie Mulder. Um, and then your page will start with a lot of different photos that are already there. And for right now, for building your basic website, you can leave those. But when I return from my trip, we are going to get rid of those, and we are going to put in your own photo, your own photos that you've been working on. So do keep that in mind. For right now, it's totally okay. Um, you need to be uploading jpegs to the website so if you feel comfortable saving your work uploading a jpeg or saving it as a jpeg um, and uploading it to this site that's totally cool but I will remind you please still save Photoshop files if you're doing new work um, because we do want to keep those so we can either keep this image or not I think I uh, don't want a gallery there. So I think that I, oops, delete, I'm going to make the home page my about page. So I'm actually going to go and delete the about page. So I'm going to delete that photo page. Um, I'll leave that and delete services. So now I have my basic pages, um, and I can focus on what I want to do. So maybe I will have a text box right here where I'll say, Hello, my name is Maddie Muehlberg. I love dogs and making photographs. Um, I am a teacher, mentor, supervisor, teen, 
coordinator at CSTO. And so obviously for your bio, you are going to want to make it a little more professional than this. Um, you're going to want to introduce yourself. Please don't give out too much personal information like what school you go to and whatnot, but you do want to say that you are a teen intern in the teen program at CSTO, you're an artist, this is maybe why you make work. Um, well, there is something called a artist website, or sorry, an artist statement that we will talk about a little later, but we're not going to talk about that today. So I am going to drag and drop a new photo into this. Oop. I actually really hate this theme, but I'll try to keep working with it. And so as you can see with the text, you really just need to check on, ugh, click on the text and you'll be able to change a ton of different things. Ooh. Um, and then you can go into the um, changing of fonts if you need more. So there's a lot of elements on this page that I'm not I was not expecting. So maybe below this I might also add a gallery of photos. Now, a gallery and slideshow are very different. I think it's just preference on what you want to do. I personally like galleries more than I like slideshows um, because you get the, these little thumbnails that I think are really nice, but it's all up to you guys. Ooh, so we're going to get rid of this. Great, so now people can see my work. They can click on it. I can add a caption. Wonderful. And then I'm going to just try and delete these other these other elements. So if we go back to um, the structure page, this is where you can add these new sections, which actually make it really easy because you can morph, you can uh, layer and stack your different elements a lot easier now. So I would add section and then maybe drop in an embedded code and embed something or a map and then people can stalk me. So just keep that in mind. So then, so I have a home page. I have at least one paragraph for my about me that talks about me and my job and why I maybe make work and then you are not going to have one portfolio page, but instead you are going to have one page per medium. And so the medium is, for example, photography. And then um, another medium would be digital illustration or graphic design. Um, so you want you have to have at least those two pages. And then I also suggest adding a page for the podcast and we'll create a bio that everyone can put on their page. Um, so that, you know, we can show off the really cool work you're doing. So make sure that you're using the top of these pages right and going back from build um, and pages. On your photography page, you have to have a slideshow or a gallery with your photographs in it. It's so weird that that keeps happening. Um, for your header photographs, as I already explained, you cannot be using images that are not your own in the end. Um, but if you'd like, you can keep them there for now. You also can change them to colors, which is a new um, technique that they just added really recently, and I, I really am thankful that they added some more of these. So if you need to change an already existing photo, you click on it. You either do edit background or replace header layout. Um, I went to edit background, and then you can change it to a color or a photo. So just keep that in mind. Oops.
I guess that's as big as it goes. I am going to change this font so we can see how that works. So I guess this is considered a headline. And now I can change this font to whatever I would like. Let's go with Lily. And I guess I can't make it that much bigger though. <laughs> All right, so now for my photo page, I have a gallery or a slideshow of images. I have a header and it says photography. So now I can move on to digital illustration. And we're going to do the same things. I'm going to change my background because I don't want someone else's work on my website. Um, then we are going to upload our digital illustrations. And, and I personally do not have any digital illustrations on this website that are my own. But here we go. Here is one that I found. Cool. So then I absolutely would have an artist statement on this page. Um, so I can throw that in now. Uh, I can either move the image to the side and have text, although that really does, oops, that deleted everything, change the entire, um, you know, format of the page. Um, so this is when it's really handy to add those structures in because I can now oh, have my work, go down to section, oops, sorry, add a new section in, add a text, and then I'm going to basically write an artist statement at some point and put this in. If you already have a digital illustration on your page, you may want to think about using your slideshow so that we can click between them. But so these are the basic pages you're going to have. Um, we are not going to have a contact page unless you want to do a contact form and someone can email you. And then I'm going to place, oops, oh. there we go, oops, sorry, great. So you are going to have to um, really just play around with this to get the best understanding uh, of how all of the settings work. But um, this is a very basic demo on how to make a website using Weebly. Um, there are just a few more things I want to highlight and then we'll be done. So um, at the very top is a button called Publish. When you press that button, it is on the internet forever. So um, you don't need to publish that until I get back. But there is part moments where you're going to press, oops, when you're going to change something. And this will say save. It may drop down and say save on every page, and you will mess up the header for every single page if you do that. So just be really aware of what buttons you're pressing. Um, so I'm not going to publish this because it's just a demo site. But this is the basics of making a website. So when I come back, you should have a website that has the following. Your name on it. 
And if you don't want to put your last name and you just want to be Maddie M, that's totally fine. You need either an About Me page or an About Me section where it talks about how you work in the teen program and why you might be making this work. You need a photography page, and this page should have your diptych uploaded to it as well as the three photos from the Boston Commons. Um, if you do not want to upload them quite yet, I do expect you to put a gallery or a slideshow um, in this spot so that it's really easy sailing when we get to that step. And that's likewise for the digital illustration. You should have a digital illustration page which should have an image element. I'm clicking on that right now. Um, in a location that you'd like it and a text box in a location that you'd like it. Um, and in that text box you could write art artist statement um, to hold its place until we get that done. So this is the very start and we can check in when I get back. But thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful.